Bonjour à tous les monde, je m'appelle Olinda. Ni hao, ta jia hao, wa jia Olinda, wa shi jana rien. Shen zai, wa shi lu shi shen zai, an hui li gon da shui. Hello everyone, welcome to Linda Banks Blog. Today I'll be talking about things that students need to know before they come to China or before they come to their school in China. So, as a student who will be coming to China, first and foremost, you need to research about the province or the city in which you'll be coming to. I say this because um, most people think that even though China is a big place, but if it's all is that, you get to your destination, you don't even know that you are there and the train exceeds your destination and then you have to come all the way back, which obviously doesn't make sense. So I think that you should make um, research or you should have a point of contact of anyone in the institution that you'll be coming to because it's very necessary. Why do I say this? Before I came to China, I made a research about the city I am in currently and I realized that it's closer to Shanghai. So make sure that if you have any money at hand, make sure you exchange it for euros, it could be dollars, it could be um, pounds, yeah that's okay. So did you know that the Great Firewall of China blocks your access to various um, websites and then um, social networks such as um, Instagram, Facebook, Google and the like. So it is important to get what we call virtual private network which is to enable access to any restricted websites in China and this makes it easier to browse without any um, interruption. Remember that most Chinese people do not speak English. You get to even say hello to someone, the person goes like Timberdong, Timberdong, Timberdong. You talk to someone, the person is like. So it's so frustrating, you know. So there are certain things you need to do, like installing Google Translator to enable you to communicate with anyone you come across in China. At least you can type what you want them to know in English and then it translates into Chinese for them. What you use is very important. If you know you are using a yam, you better drop that yam before getting to China because their networks are not compatible with certain phones. Do you understand? So when you get to the airport, move into any shop uh, with any post on it such as China Mobile, China Telecom, China Unicom and get your SIM configured so you can get access to network. If not that, you'll be stranded because you might want to communicate. You do not have any means of communicating. And who's going to talk um, on your behalf? No one. You talk to people and then they snub you. So the best thing is for you to get a network or a SIM card. Okay, to the ladies, don't get too carried away or don't get fascinated when you get to China or when you get to the airport and then you find them wanting to touch your hair. Sometimes they feel that our hair is a bit different from theirs and they're a bit curious and want to know. So don't get um, too carried away. It's normal. And um, they would like to ask you questions as to where you're coming from. They can ask you Nizai Nali. When you hear something like Nizai Nali, they're trying to ask you where you're coming from. They can also ask you Nishi Lui Shui Shangma. Are you a student? Or Nishi Shui Shangma. They can also ask you a question like Ni Dodala, how old are you? And they can also ask you Ni Zhao Shangma Minti. That means that what's your name? So all these things are basic questions that you could be asked when you chance upon any Chinese person. Mm -hmm.